71, second place at this point. So much action going on today. Six finals, and this one is next. The men's 1500 meters. Jakob Ingebrigtsen trying to redo the double he did in Berlin at the age of 17. It was an astounding performance in Berlin. He's got one gold already in the 5,000. Can he pick up another here today? Came unstuck slightly in Oregon when he was firmly the favourite for the 1,500 there. Good times this season. He was going in as the Olympic champion. Couldn't hold off the fast finishing Jake Whiteman. I wonder if Jakob Ingebrigtsen would employ different tactics today. If it does dawdle at all, he could be vulnerable. There's a lot of big kickers here. We know Ingebrigtsen is infallible tight races, whether it's 1500 or 5K. Timothy Chariot's helped him out in recent years by making the finals pretty fast. That's what happened in Tokyo, and Jak Jakob Ingebrigtsen could oh, glide no. past him. But in Oregon, Jakob Ingebrigtsen took up the running and didn't quite make it fast enough to spread the field out. European 1500-meter races are so often a tactical affair. Spaniards are very good. He's flying through the field in those sort of environments. I always love to say European men all think they've got the best kick in a 1500. Oh. And they're away first time. Mario Garcia was fourth at the World Championships. The Spaniard on the inside there. When you're in lane one, you've got a choice. Do you go out hard or do you settle? Garcia very smartly removing himself from lane one, giving himself some more space to manoeuvre, but this doesn't look fast at the moment at all. Corley and Fontes sharing the lead. Jakob Ingebrigtsen happy to sit at the back of the pack, but I mean, sometimes we see Jakob Ingebrigtsen do absolutely nothing for 400, but he's got himself involved a little bit earlier, 28 or so through the first 200 metres. So it looks like Jakob Ingebrigtsen could make, be making this a fast race from the start. And there's a bit of a stumble there. I think that was the Frenchman Habs perhaps getting tangled up. He's still on his feet. Great to see. Mario Garcia has extracted himself from this group. He was my pre-race favourite for the silver medal. But Jake Hayward of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. He can be a really brilliant tactical athlete as well. He's sitting in third place. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the defending champion, the Olympic champion, leads the field through 56.4, so a very healthy pace, and you can see how that spread this field out. Mario Garcia is committed to that pace. He saw the danger. He slotted straight on the shoulder of the Olympic champion. I do wonder, that victory by Jake Whiteman, what that will have done to the psychology of the rest of these male 1,500-metre runners. They might have started to believe that Jakob Ingebrigtsen was beatable. I'm not surprised at all to see Jakob Ingebrigtsen make this a hard run from the start, and he spread the field out behind him. Mikhail Rosmus of Poland got a great kick on him on his day. He's sitting in fifth place at the moment. Often I think he's too far back, and he doesn't use it. And as I say that, Arizi drifts past him for Italy. Arizi at the moment, the only athlete moving through the pack. Yeah, the position's pretty static. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, Mario Garcia, Jake Hayward, and now Arizi gliding up alongside Habs of France. So it's Ingebrigtsen controlling matters from the front at the moment. He's got Garcia tracking him. A very strong Italian back in fourth, Arese, and we know he's got a quick finish. Also lurking back in sixth place, but just getting slightly detached. It's Rosmiz. He was so impressive in the semi-finals. But Ingebrigtsen just controlling the race as he wants. This is absolutely fantastic performance from Ingebrigtsen. As we know, he can really... That long run for home just gives all the other competitors really just heartburn, just trying to stay with him. At the moment, it's Mario Garcia still up there with a racy. As Ingebrigtsen, here's the bell. Could be a swift closing lap here. I don't think it's been lightning fast in the middle stages. You can see Gianmarco Tamberi cheering on Arezi. He's got himself in a great position in third place. But Jakob Ingebrigtsen will turn the screw here, 251 through 1200. He's maintained a really healthy pace here. Mario Garcia just sticking to him like glue. And here comes Michael Rosmus of Poland. Jake Hayward of Great Britain and Northern Ireland trying to make sure he doesn't get stuck behind Arezi or Rosmus if either of them falter. Going to be Mario Garcia of Spain that's going to come under pressure for the minor medals because Jakob Ingebrigtsen looks full of running. Such a deceptive last 300 metres. He saved himself an awful lot and Jakob Ingebrigtsen gliding away to regain the title he had in Berlin 18 years ago, uh, in 2018. Jake Hayward, Mario Garcia battling out for silver and bronze and Arezi finishing fast. Trick of Ingebrigtsen, brother 
title, brother's titles. He won it in 2018. His brother Philip took it in 2016. Nikisi Benabad upsets the string of wins in 2014. The Inga Britson brothers, that brings their medal tally in the last decade in the European 1500 metres to six, better than any other nation, just in one family. Jakob Inga Britson didn't put a foot wrong. 332, championship record. And plaudits as well to Jay Hayward. He didn't make it to the World Championships, came in, filled in the gaps left by the likes of Jake Whiteman and Josh Kerr, and has done so admirably. 3.34.44, not that far away at all from his personal best. And it's Mario Garcia who comes up for the silver medal. Well, there's not a lot more you can say about Ingebrigtsen over the last four years, even in the COVID year of 2020. He's been almost peerless. He's had the occasional faltering, but he's just kept on taking all the titles. On the European stage, absolutely magnificent. The double-double now for Ingebrigtsen, but credit indeed to Jake Hayward. His tactics perfect. Didn't get caught up with Inge Britson, couldn't probably match Inge Britson, but came through for a great silver medal. And Garcia, well, he was fourth in Eugene, now third, and he'll be on the podium for Spain. Just looking at this battle, such as it is, down the home straight. Hayward, tactics perfect, probably knew in his heart of hearts he couldn't match Inge Britson, especially with Inge Britson driving the train from the front. A racy, the fast-finishing Italian. He just got boxed. I don't think he really was in a really good position to attack and use his skills to the foremost. You can't say that about Hayward and Garcia. Garcia, for me, that was a really brave run. Reminiscent of the likes of Laura Muir and co. Trying to live with some athletes that are perhaps a little bit faster on paper. You could see Garcia hold on for the bronze medal. But you're right, Jake Hayward probably a better measure of his internal effort, quite what he had left in the tank as he finished incredibly quickly. We had Jake Whiteman in the bronze medal position in Berlin, another athlete from Great Britain and Northern Ireland, another Jake, Jake Hayward, moving up to get that silver medal just ahead of Mario Garcia. Garcia is a very interesting athlete, but University of Mississippi won the NCAAs indoors, took a silver outdoors and now moved to get coached by Dathan Ritzenheim, so exciting times for Spain's Mario Garcia. There's a confirmed result. Pietro Arizi rewarded with a personal best, but what about that? Championship record, double gold to Norway, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Well, just as...